Hello, yes, essential reading. I make this video after many, many messages asking me what I'd recommend as essential reading for the new ambassadors for British nationalism. Well, I'll tell you what you don't want to read and don't waste your time with and don't become obsessed with and that's Second World War stuff. I'm sorry it's gone. It plays no part in the battle ahead. What you need to do is read some of the books there. There's many others books uh, on um, Captain James Cook, Stanley and Livingstone, uh, the, the list is at Shackleton, the list is endless, but I've picked those there for a, a reason which I'll get to. Our ancestors, European ancestors, they left Europe and they carved a home in the New World. They opened up the New World and some of them settled in North America and they were engaged in a ferocious 200 year race war with the Red American Indian. It was a war that gave no quarter on either side. The whites were just as bad as the Indians. They killed women, they killed children, they hated one another. But when you read the, uh, these books, you will get a better picture and understanding that the uh, European settlers were left with no choice but to kill them. You either kill them or they killed you. But these people will inspire you. They'll give you courage and bravery. The courage and bravery you're going to need uh, for the battle ahead. Right, you're going to need plenty of it because you now are the new ambassadors for British nationalism. So you need new heroes now. And there's plenty more. There's not just these. Right. There's Simon Kenton. There's Lewis Wetzel. They were frontiersmen. Uh, there were Indian fighters like Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone. There's a good book there by Daniel Boone. Do you know when Daniel Boone, when they were crossing the Rocky Mountains, only uh, one in five survived and those that did were the best of our people? Right, the conditions were atrocious there. One in five would survive. It's literally unbelievable. Uh, Daniel Boone's son was captured by the Indians and tortured fiendishly. They hated Daniel Boone. There's a book there on the Alamo, a real account of the Alamo, not the revisionist one of today, where Davy Crockett, I suppose, have tried to run away or surrender, you know, load of nonsense. Uh, there's one there uh, by Bear Grylls as well. He gives some amazing advice. Uh, regarding life and pitfalls and character building and um, realising your, your dreams and achieving them. Because we're going to need all the uh, bravery, tenacity, all the advice we can get to win our country back. And you, the new ambassadors for British nationalism, are going to lead this fight. You're going to lead this battle. I'm just going to pass the baton to you now. I'm going to be there but the fight is for you now to take the baton and continue with it, right? But these books are amazing. They literally are amazing. You see uh, what the white man was up against in North America when he encountered the Indians. There was no, there was no reasoning with them. They, they had to kill them or they killed you. And like William Hinson said in the book, The Border Wars of the Upper Ohio Valley, anyone from a 200-year judgment seat trying to prove who was right and wrong would be wasting their time. They both believed they were right and they were prepared to uh, kill women and children for what they believed in. The whites killed as many as the Indians did, except the Indians were cruel and vicious. No death could be prolonged or agonizing uh, for the white, white settlers that they encountered. In fact, death was better than capture. I did have another book here called Scalp Dance by Thomas Goodrick. He's the one that wrote Hellstorm. I lent that to Nick Griffin and never got it back. Don't lend books out, trust me. Keep them and read them. So this is just a short video, or just in case people think I was in a, a rut. Uh, some essential reading, but don't waste your time on the Second World War stuff and everything that comes with it. Read these books, they will inspire you. Okay, thank you.